One. We are live for the fucking ball torch. <laughs> sucks because I was throwing the. Never mind. Right. Welcome back to Bottom Gear, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back to Christmas. We're going to talk about uh, boring subjects, people. Where this is a very messy podcast. Welcome back to Andrew's not existent job. Welcome back to the. Welcome, Welcome back to iron reduction mics. <laughs> And on another note, we've got basically another uh, uh, Freedom Train 449 in a Santa outfit. Ho, ho, I, ho. Not like I'm getting yeah, the hook. Ho, oh, holy crap. I want, I want to die. Oh, oh holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That was good. Anyway, though, welcome to the 18th episode of Burning Subjects, and the subject for this episode is the top five Steam Christmas train excursions. Let me get them. They're all under your Christmas tree. Wouldn't be surprised. (laughs) But, anyway... Uh, the locomotives that, well, not locomotives, but the trains and scenic railroads that are going to be on this list either have captured the essence of the holidays altogether, or of course have recreated certain movies, certain movies, uh, very well. Twelve twenty-five. Of course, it's, it's going to be spoiled. Obvi- it's obviously going to be on the list, but you'll be surprised at what spot. But anyway, I'll tell you why. Because that's the way things happen on the Polar Express. Run, we get to! We'll scream, ah! 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 Please shut the fuck up. As I was about to say, I think that something else may be on the list here too, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I got Something big. Something Your mother? Is it your mother? It's not festively horny yet. No, I meant Josh. Will you shut up, you uncultured swine? <laughs> oh. Alright, All right. All right. All right, people, let's get this bitch rolling. Yes. Number five. I'm getting festively horny. <laughs> Your mother is rolling now? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. Andrew, please continue. <laughs> Number five. The Sumter Valley Christmas special. Never heard of it. Neither have I. The Sumter... If you guys don't know about the Sumter Valley, which uh, features Sumter Valley number 19, which was restored by Dorm McCormick during the 90s, the Sumter Valley Railroad creates a very authentic Christmas train experience, which, uh, of course, with an authentic steam locomotive and a couple of open cars and beautiful mountain view with the snow, the locomotive and the environment create a perfect Christmas special, especially when the crewmates occasionally will hop onto the train and greet the people. And of course we'll sign, well, of course we'll sign their tickets, quote unquote. Okay. Well, thank God it's not a Connie. It's a Mikado. And I think they also have a Heisler there as well. Yeah, they do have a Heisler. But yeah, to be honest, it was quite a challenge to find a lot of uh, Christmas trains that were actually unique in certain ways because all of them seemed exactly the same. But anyway, let's go into number. F- well, Sumter Valley was quick and simple. You know, it's a per. It captures the spirit of the holiday, which while also providing a beautiful view of the mountains and an authentic steam locomotive experience. But yeah, I think I know one. I think I know one Christmas train, but I don't want to spoil it, so I'll just type it in the chat. All right. I need to look in my device. But anyway, I'll just type it in. On to number four already. Number four. Damn. New Hope and Ivyland Polar Express special. With the Connie. Yeah. But either way, the New Hope and Ivan special decorates their train like a pro. Well, not really a pro, but decorates their train with a nice, even distribution between less and more. With the locomotive, of course, having a nice reef around the the number plates, lighting in the ca- lighting on the coaches, the the simple stuff. But it. What really makes this shine is the environment and, of course, how hard the locomotive really works. With the snow and everything, it really adds to the experience of an authentic Christmas train experience. And then, 
sometimes it, and then, what the I'm sorry pretty, that that was me I was just <laughs> clicking on the live screen but anyway let's uh the other thing about the uh, new hope and I then number four, 40 with the Polar Express is the fact of how long the journey actually is. It gives you the time to savor the moment, especially with the authentic coaches and, of course, the coal-burning locomotive. And, well, occasionally, if uh, once they stop, the engineer will give a certain person a lump of coal for Christmas. <laughs> That's bruh. They they weren't naughty. They were not they were naughty all year. Oh, were they? Did they, 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 the, they decorate the locomotive with strippers? Jesus Christ! This Why? is a Why? This, this list this Why? list just turned like eighteen and up. I was kind of hoping it would be a top. I was kind of hoping it would be a top ten, but I didn't realize it was a top five. Yeah, there's not a lot of po- Christmas train excursions that are actually unique in their own way. I mean, there, I mean there's but, one up here that's very unique. Yeah. I'm, but, not, really hold on. It. I'm not trying to spoil Don't eat. Don't. Nobody spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to uh, share something in USA locomotives. Um, Owen would uh, not over the locomotive, but probably not the face. Of course. I don't think I don't think no I don't think anybody. Oh uh, yeah. No. They are. <laughs> a locomotive. Look at how they massacred my boy. Can we continue with yes. the list? There's a beard underneath the beard. It's beardception. It's forty. No, they massacred forty thirty nine. No. Why does that crewman behind the engine kind of look like a monkey? Because <laughs> he's going banana. It's a descendant from Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said Harambe instead of Harambe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can we can we continue? Yes, it was three. It was number three. Yeah, but before we go into number three, let me because the chat seems to be streaming more than usual. Um, mowing muddy and more says burning subjects. Josh burned Jim by saying, "I don't see your mother rolling." <laughs> oh. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Oh, oh nothing here said stripper engine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course. Hey, nothing. Nothing. And then, <laughs> Could you please stop getting me aroused? And then, of course, we have people saying Polar Express, Polar Express, and then someone just said stripper. <laughs> we missed you, Josh. <laughs> Can, please, please. I just want to move on. All I right. On. Number three, and Stephen is actually has actually gotten to see this. Number three, the Tweetsie Railroad Christmas trains. Well, actually, I'm going to go see it on uh, the 27th. On the 27th, I think they started doing that in like 2016. Either way, Stephen, would you like to talk about the Tweetsie Railroad since you've, you know. Uh, I don't know much about the Tweety Christmas train. I haven't been there quite yet. I like, um, but yeah, four days from now, I'm going to be going there, uh, December 27th. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to, I'm going to try to get part five finished and uploaded before I go to Tweety. <laughs> and, um, anyway, um, I think they usually, I think so far, like, they've only used number 12 on the excursions rather than 190. Like, they usually use, they usually use 190 for, like, the ghost train or whatever, whereas they use uh, number 12 for, like, the Christmas train. Well, I, uh, now, um, I guess we'll talk about why I think it should have been put on this list. Twinsy Railroad, as most people know, is no stranger to decorating their locomotives, especially for Halloween, their famous ghost train. But when it comes to Christmas, they go all out. And, well, with the 
with the Tweetsie Railroads, the Christmas train, they decorate the locomotive inside and out, as well as the coaches, with a beautiful arrangement of lights, reefs, and, of course, a lot of streamers. And then on the outside of the coaches, we have a beautiful assortment of lights. And, of course, in the coaches, they'll be blaring Christmas music mo- most of the time. And couple that with the beautiful scenery and the beautiful snow, of course, and just... It's the perfect Christmas train that isn't Polar Express. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's. It just goes to show you don't need to you don't need to replicate the Polar Express in order to actually have a Christmas train operating. Exactly. I mean, this year I, I, so at the beginning of this year I ordered myself a Chesapeake and Ohio uh, Canal to hopefully use as my Christmas train this year. You told me about this, I think. Yeah, I wanted to use that canal as a Christmas train this year on, you know, around my tree. But at the beginning of the year, wouldn't you know it, one of the cords for the tender popped off. Bachman. That is just unlucky. Bachman, yeah, why? Wish for a, uh, oh. <laughs> Guys, meanwhile in the chat, uh, Super Mario Coda is getting roasted here. Oh no, let's see what here. Okay. Yeah. Don't Super talk Mario Coda. He said, Don't talk about your tree toys. Then uh, Charles Calvin said, No, they're real engines. Coda then said, I know, but Andrew loves model engines, so I think your toy trains. And then um, mowing, mudding, and more replied with Mario got cold this Christmas from the strip. <laughs> 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 The stream today is pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate today. Hey guys, guys, just a friendly remind me. Just a friendly reminder. Be sure to give me the stripper, okay? <laughs> Dude, screw off. I'm like, I'm like the youngest a bunch. This locomotive runs on stripper. <laughs> Oh so no, what do you do? They grab strippers, throw them into the firebox, and burn them alive. Yeah, well, that's official. No, it, no, it's the Horny Express. The locomotive is powered by their screams. Mm. <sighs> no, the locomotive is powered by their moans. Oh no! Jesus, yeah, they, 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 they boil milk to make the steam. Okay, <laughs> let's just stop before, <laughs> before Andrew's panel gets terminated. It's gone too far. Okay, everyone in chat, let's drop the stripper subject. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go on to number two, and you guys should have seen this coming. Number two, Pierre Marquette, 1225 Owasso, Michigan, Polar Express Excursions. Oh, this is the okay. Express. None other than the original okay, techni- Polar. Okay, hmm? technically, technically, they're they're called the North Pole Express excursions because I guess licensing issues. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I just looked in the chat. Oh my god! But <laughs> 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 what? Barney goes through our firebox, and that's how the engine runs. Cause it's horny. This live stream. <laughs> this is more. <laughs> this is a lot more active than normal. <laughs> this is the horny express. <clears throat> we're not even. We're not. We're no longer just talking about Christmas trains. We're now just talking about sex jokes. <laughs> Anyway, let's, <laughs> but anyway, let's go well, back to seeing that the cylinder cocks are taking over burning subject. <laughs> anyway, let's get by Tom Cruise taking over burning subject. But anyway, can we get back to uh, number two then? <laughs> Please. Okay. Please continue. Number two, you know, as I said, what other than the original Polar Express that inspired the movie and the book? So, 1225 is the original basis for the Polar Express. Like, not only is it the basis, but the writer for the Polar Express actually used to play on this locomotive when he was a little child, and his family would go to watch the baseball games. And so he naturally went to go play on the locomotive while it was in the park. 
But uh, then, well, after it was in the park, it was donated. A college actually bought the locomotive and formed a historical society to restore the locomotive to operation. And wouldn't you know it, the college restored it within about 10 years. And uh, ever since then, it's been hauling these excursions and has been. And uh, I do remember it was in the 1991 NRHS convention. Yes. But, of course, not only do you have the original Polar Express locomotive, but you also have the home area in which the rider of Polar Express grew. The neighborhood, the snow, and just a busy area. And then, of course, they do the full reenactment of the Polar Express, where they actually, you get to meet the characters from the Polar Express, such as the conductor, the hobo, and even Santa. And, of course, they're going to serve you hot chocolate. And they even give you authentic Polar Express mugs. And... Have, like, um, hmm? I think they did... Uh, I think his name is Chris uh, in the in the movie. Uh, basically, like Chris Van Allsburg, but named after him. The- you know what kind of trend is this? Uh, that's the know-it-all kid. <laughs> no, 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 no. The no. main character, that kid in the blue robe. The hero uh, kid. The uh, the know it all the know it all kid. I think his name is believed to be like Benny or something. The first time I talked to Andrew, he brought up his knowledge on locomotives. I called him a know it all kid. Yeah. All right. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Van Allsburg was also involved in the film's production. Do not look in chat. Anyway, let me get back to... Uh, look at that. Oh. Okay, back... One day, one day Thomas went... To sh- okay, I'm reading about Furniture Foley's coming. One day Thomas went to... Furniture sh- Foley's! And Rose was on the pole because she was that special. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you should recognize that channel. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you should recognize that <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the literal fuck? You know that Andrew should know that panel. Welcome. The laugh is in Markiplier laugh mode. <laughs> get, guys, get... get. <laughs> <laughs> guys, get, can we get back to it? Hey, Dan. <laughs> Andrew, that's one. Tell me who wrote this. please. What? That's my old channel. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm. I posted it. <laughs> anyway, guys. Anyway, though. <laughs> I posted it. Can we get back to it, though? Yes. I, uh, I I will take the Markiplier laugh as a compliment. <laughs> okay. Anyway, though. Okay, after continue. the the twelve twenty five brings its guests along the <clears throat> the hour journey to the reenactment of the North Pole, they spend an entire. They spend about three hours at the fairgrounds in which uh, they basically get to experience everything at the North Pole. Like, they can buy presents. They can, of course, they even have a cookie buffet. And, <clears throat> but, yeah. And then, of course, there is a, co- a couple of caroling. And then before they get back on the locomotive and the train, they, uh, of course, take some photos. Then after that, of course, they head back. It's a pretty authentic Polar Express experience, including, of course, the original locomotive. So that's, but it couldn't, it just couldn't top number one, even if it is the original Polar Express. Hmm. So uh, before <laughs> before that, let's actually read some more. Lo- cookies include the girl. <laughs> 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 Cookies in Cookies in Cookies in Cookies in Include the girls Right The girls The girls The girls Right This is This This is This has gone overboard I mean we've gone through Four of them But oh my god The the chat is freaking Yes but we, yeah, but we have to go through multiple sex jokes in in order to somehow do the screen. <laughs> and we just, 
quit it with the jokes and can we just please take this seriously? The thing is, hey Dan, hey Dan, call this channel overpowered speed four. Dan, what? Cock and ball torture. <laughs> okay, that's an exception. Anyway, guys, th look, this right here, this is the reason I wanted to make these live, because live, you never know what's going to happen, because it might fr be, because hilarious stuff can happen, whether you know it or not. When you're trying to talk serious, the most hilarious shit can happen, and that's why this is live, be and that's why this podcast is so dangerous. Well, that explains It's a lot. because it's real. God damn. <laughs> What's next? Right. Is Joe Biden gonna come in about it? Oh, please <laughs> <laughs> don't bring politics into this. No, d no politics. <laughs> no politics. This is a stream. This is a stream about train. This is a stream. <laughs> Was just making a joke because of all the others. Yeah, but like you don't have to bring politics. Into this. Okay, okay. Let's just stop before war happens. I like, yeah, can they do? Please, proceed. <laughs> well, we haven't got many more. Yeah, we got one more. But anyway, before we get to number one, um, what are your thoughts on the previous one so far? I can, I can support them. Yeah, yeah, they're special. I mean, I would support the twelve. Of course, literally everybody can support the um. 1225. Yeah, look how yeah. many comments we got on the Polar Express. Of course, because the Polar Express is the most famous po Christmas train of all time. Uh, also, I'm wearing number three's whistle. Shut the fuck up about Sierra number three. Sierra number three. You shouldn't mention that over in a pile of scraps. Sierra number three is the best thing I've ever done in the world. And today, I'm going to go back on it. But you guys want to see me ride on Sierra number three? No. Yes. Hey, I'm going to talk about Seattle number three. Why is there like it? Okay, Steven, it sounded like you're trying to make an attempt at voicing Daffy Duck. <laughs> well, uh, and meanwhile, I'm just uh, spamming the chat with a certain with a certain uh, Christmas train. Which I'm Look in the chat. No. But, uh, there are it, nothing here. It just said there are people who have had. Wait, I'm gonna do it in like a voice. Like there are people who have had sexual relations with a steam engine. <laughs> yeah, let's not. You're well, you're the. I hope not. But there were. But there is a girl who has a who has some kind of spiritual, maybe sexual relation with a diesel engine. <laughs> no. Let's, uh, let's not bring that up. <laughs> Remember the somebody who and a woman who wishes to marry a train station. Oh no, you had to remind me of that. <laughs> I do not have. Anyway, uh, Andrew, <sighs> what is number one? <sighs> okay, please, please. Number one. Is it something recent or is it something big? Uh, it's actually something small, but save it. Please. But it oozes Christmas. Okay. It just. It oozes. It, you know, I'm spamming something in the chat. It's it, it oozes the spirit of Christmas. Andrew, that, that sounds so sexual. Oh, I'm going to have sexual thoughts about that. Quotes by Saxton Hale. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's, let, let's just let it all out. Not in okay. that context. Let's just let okay. all Number one. this out. Number one, no. Ah. Number one best Christmas train excursion is none other than the Durango and Soweton Polar Express excursions. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, <that's> Daniel. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Now. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, I was expecting you know something big. Because Dan here apparently does not like, you know, the Durango and Silver Tea. Because of the fire, the fire train. He calls them, the, he, he thinks of them as the fire train. <laughs> the 
fire train. Fire train. Fire train. There's the fucking server down. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, though. <What? clears throat> the Durango and Silverton Polo Express excursion easily takes <laughs> this top for five reasons. One, coal-fired steam locomotive. Two, authentic mountain views filled with snow and, of course, the the view itself. And number th- and three, the they literally built a t- well, not built, but they restored a tender and lettered it in an authentic Polar Express livery for the excursion. Like a tender, a tender. They didn't put like something on the on the locomotive. But they they can actually actually do that. But anyway, delay, Andrew. but anyway, number f- the fourth reason is because well, at the stations and of course on the train, the decorations are on point for absolute beauty. It just oozes Christmas out. It and then not only does the station look beautiful but that goes to number 5 the entire town of silverton is the spirit of christmas the town supports this the town Until they is get hit with a tornado oh anyway but the su- Durango until, just until james commits fucking arson <laughs> james well, Orson. 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 It's Orson. Look inside the Grovenant. He's the, going to resurrect Orson Welles. The Grovenator just said, <laughs> y'all need <laughs> Jesus. Well, I had to say something, Andrew. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> but anyway, I, as I said, though, the entirety of Durango is the spirit of Christmas with the snow, the awesome decorations, and of course the authentic steam locomotive, which basically gathers all together into this great Christmas train. And not only is the train, of course, itself, but the entire town is like the perfect <laughs> Christmas. It's like a Christmas movie when you go there. Not only, you know, the train, the entire town is Christmas now. Yeah. And that those five reasons are the reason that I picked the Durango and Silverton to be my number one for the top ten five best Christmas train excursions. <clears throat> yes? Well shit. You wanna know what I was thinking, Andrew? What? Fiftieth anniversary Clinchfield Santa special. I com- with UP thirty nine eighty five. I completely forgot hey, about Andrew. Andrew, that was- Andrew I you know what I really fucking hoped? You know what I really hoped? What? The Canadian Pacific holiday train. And that thing. I was thinking, so guys. I was thinking about it. Okay, look, look. Uh, also, also, also. Best thumbnail ever, Andrew. Best fucking thumbnail ever. Why? What is the thumbnail? It's a steam engine, like that's been taken apart partially, is what it looks like. It's twelve. Uh, yeah. It's twelve twenty-five under her under her rebuild. Oh, let me let me let me guess. Is it the inspection? <laughs> I don't think my ears can hold. You know, what, you guys, I'm going to let you guys read the live chat for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back with something to show you guys for the next uh, 20 minutes because it's Christmas. And, Andrew. Uh, huh? Andrew, just leave your pants on. Yeah, please. leave your panties on, too. Steven, since when the fuck did you assume it was female? It's a figure of speech. It's a figure of speech. Like it's like don't get your panties in a wad, you know. <laughs> the Grubbinator said we all need Jesus. Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> bloomers are bloomers, okay? Oh, oh, nothing is smaller than Andrew's bundle. I mean, what? <laughs> hey, 
Did you have small pimp? Wait, where is that? Uh, the Super Mario Coda said that. Oh my. Maybe not. Oh my god. I was. Uh, this this stream. This stream is fucked. Let let's let's not kid ourselves here. This stream is fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but it's still funny. I've said this once. I need to say it again. Well, it still says it's live. Hmm. I just hope we didn't fuck anything up. Oh wait, probably the stream is technically already fucked. <laughs> I think Andrew just left so he can lie in bed and try himself to sleep. What? Nothing. I don't I don't get it. Well, because of the chat. Oh, what? All right. Okay, so um, I'm back. Have we literally kind of screwed ourselves? <laughs> I'm back. Hang on. Oh, Andrew. What? Um. Uh, what? let's see. Uh, Super Mario Coda what left a very it? interesting uh, message in the live chat. Um. Uh, no, it it was nothing here. They said, it's smaller than Andrew's funnel. I mean, what? What? Scoozy? It's oh, a wait, you uh, you all are, what's the I think it's okay. small dipstick. But anyway, guys. Let's just put this outside of the stream. I have two surprises. So, uh, come over here. What? This is a... Uh, oh, no! This no! Is, no! This is my little brother. Oh, what? Hi, Anthony. This is my little brother, Anthony. Uh, uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Uh, not, no, not at all. What is going on? I, I don't. I usually just watch the live streams later on. I just wanted to introduce work. him because you know he's my little brother, and it's crazy much. So, well, it's not Chris. It's not Christmas yet, but it's the twenty third, and most likely, I'm most of you guys. Only child. But yeah. And I also have my very first Christmas train right here. Andrew, I got a question for you. Yeah. Remember that time I was asking for your address? Yeah. You know what I was trying to send you? What? I was trying to send you a locomotive completely out of candy. Why? Because it was Christmas. Okay, but uh, either way, this is my first Christmas train right here. Well, my first model Christmas train, like full-on model. This is a, a Bachman <clears throat> double-O scale. Well, not double-O scale, but it's sort of... It's a 2 6 No, no not... I know it's the wheel configuration, Josh, but I forgot what scale because it's narrow gauge for double O for uh, O scale. It's but okay. I don't know about I don't know anything about. Um, oh yeah, it's O and three scale. It's an O and oh. three scale uh, of it's a Rudolph locomotive, which uh. <laughs> Well, usually I run this on Christmas, but it appears, though, that this year our dogs are a little bit nuts. And uh, quite frankly, I don't want this beautiful thing to be destroyed. Yeah. But yeah, uh, if, if you want to, you can go and play or whatever you do. Or, I don't know. <laughs> hey, what do you call that sound effect that's like, duh, like, uh, like some kind of jazz thing? I don't know. I don't know. You know? But anyway, I guess okay, I might as well... No. I think I'm going to go ahead and vanish myself back to hell now. Let Happy me take a look. <laughs> Who said no? Let okay, me take a look. So at Dan has disappeared, but Andrew, the reason why I said this probably wasn't a good idea is because uh, 
things have kind of gone overboard on the sexual meter. Yeah, that's why I said that's not a good idea at all. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. let's take a look so, at the chat. Like again, somebody was saying something about something being smaller than your funnel. What? I, I don't understand. It's a dick uh, joke. It's a dick joke. Uh, nothing here probably imply that you have a small one. That's rough. Anyway, let's get back to... Uh, <clears throat> let's, this one says spank... Wait, what? Spank Where? dem... Cool <laughs> What the? What the <laughs> literal? Spank them loco booty before it spanks you. Before the <laughs> loco rams, it's no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it a thumbs up. What has this become? <laughs> it's funny, Andrew. It's en it shows it it's become. entertainment. It has become something that AJ would approve of. Oof. Um, play the... No. Yes, no. I'll do it! No, don't you dare. Oh, too late, Andrew. I got it. Do it, and you're getting kicked. Oh, Simba 1996 just said hello. Wait, who's that? Uh, he's one of the guys who, who played with us, but... Oh. Uh... Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm suddenly reminded of uh, one of your uh, brilliant uh, little um, what uh, videos that you once chucked in memes. Uh, what video? Um, let me just. You'll hear it. Oh no! <laughs> you know, you probably already know what's coming. I'm scared. Let's crank up that volume, shall we? Oh no. <laughs> no, no, not this! <laughs> and that's how Scruffy lost it. <laughs> that's how Scruffy lost his virginity. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Andrew, that implies you have a small dick. <laughs> it says, nothing here says Andrew's funnel is getting smaller. What else happened? Billy Arrington had come and gone. <laughs> oh, I, I, I get it, but. That's dark. What's backgammon? What, what, what's backgammon? I think that's some sort of game of some sort. I don't know what it is. A Batman. Read the rest. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Hello from Simba Nineteen Days. Andrews. I'm not gonna read that one. Lol, I'm dead. XD. <laughs> read. Um, it gets worse. We're all getting cold. <laughs> and You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Anna says you've been oh. naughty. What is this movie? <laughs> what is... Just, wow. Just... <laughs> and we're getting sent to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting. You know what? <laughs> if all of you are going to Brazil. Wait a s Hold up. <laughs> Pretty sure that's fucking Michael. Yeah. I know. 
you, you know, we're actually getting a, we're actually going to get some uh, nice cake for Christmas in the shape of a number. 69. Nice. <laughs> At least, well, <laughs> great. Well, uh, whoever Sonic the Hedgehog 31 is, um, I'm pretty sure that is Michael. Ah, yes. Michael. Michael. Yeah. You are dead uh, to us. Oh, Goodbye. He's on blue line. You are dead to us. Thank Goodbye. Props out. But I also should be proud of myself for not having the most amount of props out. Yeah, bad news is he is out. Yeah. Um, so, are we going to end this hell? Um, let's... Uh, we got... I don't know. Look, wait, wait, I gotta. That is the highest amount of filler I've ever had for a, you know, for. A... <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't you know, for this. Actually left. Thank you. If it wasn't for this filler, I'm pretty sure this video would have been like 17 minutes long. Yes. But yeah. But I... so we got. But even though uh, your little brother has made a uh, cameo in it, we definitely got to mark this as not made for kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> But anyway, before we do that, um, I have here something from uh, uh, Jeff Dunham right here. Which Jeff uh, Dunham? Dunham. Dunham. Jeff Dunham. Dunham. Uh, I kill you. Anyway, though, this is uh. Have you guys heard the the? We're gonna be. I'm gonna reenact uh Ahmed's jingle bombs. Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be good. And then after that we're gonna end the stream. But <clears throat> I'm at the time to sing my song, but now I'm not inspired exactly. Dio, you know what you need to do? You need to play me something. Inspire my soul. Play me something you think I would like. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Dashing through the sand with a bomb strapped to my back, I have a nasty plan for Christmas in Iraq. I've got to checkpoint B. Check B. I got to checkpoint B. Because when I got shot in the ass by the U.S. military. Oh, jingle bombs, jingle bombs, mind up up your three. We're all only virgins that Min Laden promised me. Oh, jingle, jingle bombs, your, so your soldier shot me dead. The only thing that I have left is this towel upon my... This isn't a towel, the towel on my head. One sec, my mother is calling me. Um. I think she is here. Oh. Hello? Hi. Yes? Okay. 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 Bye. That was my mother. That was my mother. I have to go in about like three minutes, but let, let's finish this. Uh, Andrew, can I say all I have to share a room, a dressing room with you two blithering idiots? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's continue like this song, and then we'll be done with it. Okay, but uh. Uh, I used used to be a man, but every, every time I cough, thank thanks to know. Uncle Sam, my nuts keep oh, falling God. off. Um, fuck. I've Jingle bells, mermaid man smells, barnacle boy laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the song says. I don't smell. And, you know, this is the Mobile lost the wheel, and Barnacle Boy laid an egg that they used as the spare wheel. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway. What the fuck? Hey, I tried. I tried. I, also, look at my, uh, I, I changed my, I uh, need to find some work. Perhaps it would be much safer as a convenient store night clerk. Uh, j- j- jingle bombs, jing- j- jingle bombs, get my, the, your soldier shot me dead. What? Like, what? Wait, what are we doing now? Uh, Just ignore Michael. Pretend like he's non-existent. I kill you! You gotta switch the points for you. All right, but uh, either way, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, <laughs> next week, we're actually going to be talking about bombshell looking memes mm. for someone who can't hurt you because he's not real. Uh... Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 no,